but it's an emergency. The old boiler is broken at the animal park, and the new one hasn't arrived. The animals urgently need a warm place to stay. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. But what's the warmest place on Sodor? The steamworks is pretty hot, sir. Quiet, Henry. I'm trying to think. I know. How about the steamworks? The steamworks is pretty hot. <laughs> Hurry, Thomas. Grab any empty trucks you can find and take all the animals to the steamworks. Thank you, sir. I wish the animals could have stayed with us at Tidmouth Sheds. That would have been the best Christmas present in the whole wide world. for Plan B. <sighs> the bad weather made it difficult to travel. Oh, Rebecca! Be careful! The tunnel is blocked! OK, Thomas, but look out for deep snow drifts ahead. OK. Thanks, Rebecca! get through this snow drift. The tracks are too icy. My wheels won't grip. The animals are getting really cold, Thomas. Yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. oh. I have an idea. When I was in India, I came off the rails and an elephant helped me back onto the tracks. Animals are okay. <gasps> Thomas! What on earth does he have in where am I? I'm off. coming! Hey! on is off to pull the express. He's really strong. The fastest engine on Sodo. And I'm the fastest red engine. <laughs> hey! Excuse me, Jay. Did you know Emily competed in the best decorated engine parade at the Great Railway Show? So did I. Oh, come on. And Percy's just coming back from pulling the mail train. Wow. These sound like the best engines ever. <laughs> if I want to fit in here. Rebecca was so fast that she got to Vickerstown early. And that meant she was in the way. Who's that on my platform? Excuse me. Oopsies. <laughs> I'll be out of your way in just a minute. What are you doing on my platform? And where are my passengers? Oh, no. I think I picked up your passengers by mistake. What? Who is that? Rebecca, how did you get here before me? Oh, I thought you were the one behind me, little brother. Why can't you call me Gordon? Because I'm your big brother, which makes you my little brother. Little brother. Oh, you think you're so cool, don't you? 
Whoopsie! Off I go again! I don't want to be late on my first day. All the other engines are so fast and strong and compete in competitions. I hope I won't be known as a slow coach. I know! I'll leave straight away so I won't be late. Hey, wait! You're far too early! Where do you think you're going? You haven't got on yet! That was the train I was meant to get on! Rebecca was so early to pick up passengers from the cruise ship... Excuse me! ...that she was in the way again. Whoops! Sorry! The Rolling Doctor Train. I'll take you to Darwin Hospital. Hop on. <laughs> well, not hop exactly. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Quickly now. That's it. Fast as you can go. What? Need to drop by, Isla. I could have handled this emergency. Thanks, Thomas, but best leave this to the medical professionals. Tomo! Did you manage to rescue anyone? Oh, no. Isla kept beating me to it. Don't worry, mate. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. And she is pretty amazing. Hey, look! She's coming back! Early warning alert, guys! A cyclone is heading towards the town of Catherine. There will be strong winds and trees could get blown down. Dr. Clear and I are going to help evacuate townsfolk. On a boy! Wow! Is there anything she can't do? the cyclone. We need a train to take Dr. Clear. Where's Shane? He's busy lugging rocks, Isla. But don't worry. I can go. the center of the storm, where it's calm for just a few minutes. What? Oh, no! We've got to go quickly, Thomas! But I don't know if I'm strong enough to get through the storm again. You can do it, Thomas! You're right! If I'm strong enough to get into the cyclone, then I'm strong enough to get out of it. Thomas, <laughs> had any big adventures lately? I... Huh? Hello, Thomas! <gasps> How did you get off the tracks? Have you been derailed? No, I don't need rails. I'm a traction engine. What do you think of my new steam whistle? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it makes you sound like a big railway engine. How fantastic! I'm an experimental engine. Want to see what I can do? Invisibility on! <laughs> this is Merlin, Trevor. My friend from the mainland. And I'm the best hider ever. Oh, hello, Merlin. Very nice to see you. <laughs> and then he puffed out a big cloud of steam. He kept saying he was the best hider ever. Really? Did he... Disappear! <laughs> Invisibility! On! Did you see 
see the disappearing engine too, James? Everybody saw the disappearing engine, Rebecca. Apart from me, how come I didn't see the invisible engine? Probably because he's invisible, eh? <laughs> but I want to see the disappearing engine too. Oh, and I want you all to disappear so I can get some sleep. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, Percy. Merlin's going to be working on Sodor all day tomorrow. I'm sure you'll see him. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> all of you. Oh, Thomas. I hope I do see him. Hello, Percy. Hello, Clarabelle. Hello, Annie. Huh? Clarabelle, who's pulling you? Merlin is our engine today. He's, He's invisible. invisible. Hello, Percy. Huh? I'm Merlin. Thomas said you were looking for me. Merlin's magic. And he's been teaching us to do magic, too. Invisibility. Invisibility. Oh! <gasps> wow! The next day, as Percy worked on the railway, he looked everywhere for the invisible engine. Hello? Invisible engine, are you here? Have you seen the invisible engine today, Mia? Oh, Percy, you just missed him. Sorry. It's in Vickerstown from now on. What? 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 <laughs> when did this happen? Nobody told me. You, you can't move Henry as well, sir. Why don't you just, just go ahead and change everything? Shall I push my coaches from now on instead of pulling them, sir? Gordon! Come on, Annie Clarabelle! Gordon. Let me take you on Thomas's branch line for a change. The fat controller is changing everything. No, Gordon! What are you doing? You can take the express, Nia. I'm going to shunt trucks in the yard. The fat controller wants to change everything. Gordon, I've had quite enough of this nonsense. Hurry up, Paxton. I'm going to fill up with diesel for a change. Really? I thought steam engines filled up with steam. First, Edward leaves Titmouth sheds, and now Henry's moving out too. Oh, maybe now Edward can come back. But, Gordon? What about your diesel fuel? Well, Edward, what do you think? Thanks for asking, Gordon, again. But I'm very happy at Wellsworth. Uh-oh! You better hurry back to Nutford and collect your coaches, Gordon. The fat controller says you're causing confusion, confusion and, and delay. delay. Wow, Philip, how do you make your voice do that? You are usually one of my most sensible engines, Gordon. But today you're being very silly indeed. If you're not going to pull the express, then you can go back to your shed. Fine, sir. I will. I don't mind if I stay in Tidmouth's sheds forever and ever. Let the fat controller change everything if he wants to. He can make the Northwestern Railway as silly as he likes, for all I care. Giant panda. 
know, Thomas. It's a panda for sure, but it's a red panda. They're quite rare too, but not as rare and hard to spot as a giant panda. Oh. The crew was happy to film the red panda, but I really wanted to see a giant panda. You're not going to see one, Thomas. Well, I might. What do they look like? Their fur is white like snow and black like shadows. Everything Anan -An and Yinlong said just made me more determined than ever to spot a giant panda. And if they really were giant, how hard could they be to find in the wild? looking everywhere for a black and white animal. Come on, Thomas. Shh. I can see something. A black and white animal up ahead. But we've got to hurry up or we won't get to the nature reserve before nightfall. And then we won't see anything. What's that? Uh, over there. <gasps> Is that a giant panda? No, Thomas. It's an Asian black bear. We are very lucky to see one of those. They are also quite rare. But it's not a giant panda. No, it's not. Hurry up, Thomas. Hey, now what's the problem? I'd imagined. No, Thomas. Those are panda cubs. Oh, look! There's the mother. We stayed to watch the giant pandas in the wild until they disappeared back into the forest. There you go. You're back on track again. Oh, dear, oh, dear, Nia. Didn't you see the speed limit signs? Yes, sir. I, uh, did see some signs, sir. Then you should have taken notice of what they said and slowed down. I'm very sorry, sir. Mia, wait! Where are we going? This isn't the way back to Napford. Mia, what are you doing? Why are we here? I've led the fat controller down. And now everyone will think I'm silly. Silly? Why? You're one of the cleverest engines we know. Isn't she, Clarabelle? Oh, yes. Carly told us how you sorted out all the trucks when they were in a muddle at the docks. And Thomas told us about your idea of making a funnel out of leaves to catch rainwater when you got stuck in the Amazon. You're, You're a, a very, very clever, clever engineer. engineer. But I'll never be a really useful engine if I don't know numbers. You don't know numbers? I can count, all right. One, two, three, four, five. And I know that there are three birds on that branch over there. But I can't read those squiggles that people call numbers. Oh! You mean you don't know what a one and a two and a three look like? So that's why you didn't slow down for the speed limit signs. Oh, you should have told us sooner. It's okay to ask for help. We can teach you to read numbers, Nia. 
The number one is tall and straight. Oh, like a tree. Yes, exactly. And a two is curved with a straight line, like a swan. Three is rounded on one side. Oh, a butterfly. Number four crisscrosses, like Marion's crane. And five is straight and curly. Oh, a squirrel. Six curls up like a... I know, <laughs> an ostrich. And seven is two sharp lines. Like an axe. And eight? It has two circles. Oh, a snowman. And nine curls downward. Like a drooping flower. And, and don't, don't forget, forget zero. zero. It's a circle. Like my wheels. <laughs> I promised I'd lead those men to a tiger and they won't leave until I have. Just keep going around in circles and leave the rest to me. Oh, come on then. Show us a tiger. So, what's the plan? So, the plan is you go round in. I, I recognize that tree. We're just going around in circles. Come on, Thomas, where are you? There it is. going to be a beauty. And it's all ours. Yes, all ours. Huh? You mean me? Hey, what's going on? We've got a tiger to catch. Spot. Uh, I mean spot. Tiger hunting is not allowed. <gasps> uh oh Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Now, I'm afraid there's been a terrible misunderstanding. I was actually... I am very I... impressed with your clever and brave actions to save our tigers. Oh, it's all thanks to Shankar, really. Shankar? He's even harder to spot than a tiger! <laughs> <laughs> be hard for animals to find places to live when there are so many people around all the time. I remember when Luke made friends with a young deer. But the quarry was far too noisy for the little thing. The peace and quiet of the Olfsted Castle grounds was a much better home for the deer. Rajiv and I both wanted to see a tiger. And so did a lot of other people. But the tigers didn't really want to be seen, and it wasn't always a good idea for people to find them either. Sometimes, the best way to help animals live happily and in peace is by leaving them and their homes alone. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go! See you next time! What about the mystery? What about these parts? Maybe I, I'm meant to be working with you, and I just forgot. Who knows? It's a mystery. Oh, stick with me, Special Agent Sydney. So Paxton and Sydney set off to solve the case of the puzzling parts. Here's some scrap for you, Reg. Thanks, Paxton. What about this, Reg? Does this look like scrap? No, Sydney. Those look like brand new engine parts. Did you hear that, Special Agent Sydney? Reg thinks those parts look brand new. Do you know what that is? Uh, it's a clue. A clue? Clues are the things we see or hear that will help us crack the case and solve the mystery. Oh, yes. Remember, 
Special Agent Sydney, you've got to look out for clues. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Is that a clue? Sydney, look out! Huh? <gasps> Whoa, Sydney! Thomas! Hello. Uh, are you missing some brand new parts? No, those look like diesel parts to me, Sydney. And by the way, you're on the wrong track. These old parts, Special Agent Sydney. Do you know what that is? Oh, um, a clue. Oh, now we just have to work out which diesel they're for. Wait for me. That's a funny sound. I wonder what's wrong with my horn. Never mind that, Special Agent Sydney. We're on a case! Hi, Paxton. What's Sydney doing here? We're uh, solving a mystery with. <gasps> Maybe that's a clue! Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh! That clue was a load of rubbish. <laughs> Get it? Special Agents Paxton and Sydney left the waste dump none the wiser, but a little bit whiffier. I've got to take these empty trucks to the quarry now, Special Agent Sydney. Remember to keep your eyes peeled for... <laughs> The more I thought about the dragon, the more I started to worry there might be one around every corner. Oh! Ah! <laughs> See you later, Thomas! <gasps> What's that? <gasps> A dragon! Not a dragon. What dragon? A talking chicken? Oh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, Hong Mei. I thought, oh dear, Yong Bao wants me to take a dragon to the New Year party. Ah, oh, wow. That is amazing. The dragon is big and noisy. You're so lucky. I didn't feel lucky. I couldn't stop worrying about the dragon. I imagined something big and loud and scary. Thomas, what's wrong? I really, really don't want to pull the dragon. What? But thank you. I'm sure it is a big honor. But will you pull the dragon, Yong Bao? Oh, okay. I guess I can take the dragon. And you can take the lion. Oh, okay. Thanks. Lion? What lion? Phew! I'm glad I'm pulling you, An An and Yin Long. I guess I don't have to take the lion after all. Oh, oh yes, yes, you, you do, do, Thomas. Thomas. Mm -hmm. oh. ah. <laughs> 